Hey YouTubers, in this video I'm going to be opening up my liner, which I just got a few days ago, and I will be marking it up and trimming it up to my size. So, let's take a look. Alright, so in this comes guide instructions for use it talks this shows how to put on the liner and how to measure all right so this is the ice Ross dermo seal and liner I did a review of this liner uh, I don't know about 10 months ago or so but yeah I'm unboxing it for you for the first time. Alright, so inside of here it has some stuffing, and there you go. You have your nice, really soft material liner, and it's quite long actually, which is going to allow for a nice, a nice fitting. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to use my liner that I'm currently wearing and use the marks on here as an estimate for what I need this new liner to be cut out as. So I'm going to lay my new liner over top of this liner and I can see already that one's longer than the other. And that's actually kind of good because I have a really long stump since I'm a tall person and they amputated my leg about an inch above the knee, so I have a really long limb. So I'm going to push them both down and get an estimate of where I need to cut. I'm not going to cut all the way yet, so I'm going to put a, I'm going to put marks a little bit above where it is on the other one, if you can see right there, so that I don't, I know that it will be long enough when I put it on. So I'm just going to mark this up a little bit. So if you're going to be doing this yourself, I recommend making sure that this logo is on the front of your liner. At least that's the way I do it so when I put my liner on in the morning I know which way it should go and how to align it because the logo will be directly going straight up my leg in the morning. So that's useful. Alright, so when you look at it, you can see that I put a mark that goes all the way around. That's in the shape that I believe my leg to be, my socket. Now I'm just going to double check, make sure that's what I want. So now what I'm doing is I'm putting the logo on the side and double checking the shape of side of my liner. Alright, so I needed to touch up that a little bit, I believe. So now I'm going to make my cuts. When you cut the liners, you want to try to use as smooth of a cut as possible. But try to make sure that the liner that you're, the part that you're cutting is as close to the bottom of the scissors as possible so that you get the most clean cut and that'll help when you're uh, 
when, when you do cut it because it'll prevent it from having a bunch of little ridges and jaggedy edges on the liner which then are more susceptible to tears. So when I make my first cut, I'm going to cut just slightly above this line just so that I can be safe and make sure that I don't overcut my liner. There's my scrap. And here's my cut liner. So I'm going to try this on. Going to turn it inside out. All the way inside out. Then what I do, you can kind of see that the, where the logo is, it'll have some indentations, and that's always helpful. Or you can just look inside the liner and see the logo and line it up. You want the logo, in order to be on the top of your leg, to be on the upper side of the liner when you're looking at it. Okay, now it's time to put on the liner. Make sure you don't get any air bubbles in it when you're putting it on. Now because this is a new liner, it's kind of weird feeling and slippery, so I'm not getting good grip on it. But it is what it is. And eventually, once you wash it a few times, it'll improve. So, here's my new liner, I'm wearing it, and you can see that it's, it fit pretty well, I have the cutouts in about the right places, and yeah, what, uh, looks good. So there you have it guys, that's how you cut your liner and size it up for yourself. Hope this was informative. And be sure to like it if you thought the quality was good and if it was useful. And don't forget to check out all my other videos. Take care, guys. See you later. AMP for life.